Professor Bhatti, I would like to say congratulations on your fantastic artistic career, your achievements, your pedagogy, your students who always keep coming back to you. I'm so happy and grateful to be a part of your musical family and your family. I hope we can celebrate soon in person, all of us. I wish for it from the bottom of my heart. Uh, for now, congratulations, uh, all the very, very best. Hello from Toronto, from the Spilling District, where we've been together on the members of Again, all the best, and thank you. Dear Professor Bhatt, congratulations on your retirement. It's amazing how energetic and active you were during your career, and I'm sure that your retirement will also be busy with performances and traveling. I wish you have a wonderful time and a relaxing schedule. Check. This is Nikki Herrera Johnson. I studied chamber music and pedagogy with you between the years of 2005 and 2009. And I just wanted to say a huge congratulations on your retirement. You have been such an inspiration to so many as an educator and as a performer. And I will always be grateful for everything that I learned from you during my time at Towson that I still carry with me today. So I'm very thankful to be here to celebrate you today. And again, thank you for everything. Congratulations. Professor Varchik, congratulations for all the time you have taught at Towson University. You have been a great example of diligence, love for music, quality of teaching for all your students, generosity, and human quality. In my time studying at Towson University, you were not only my child teacher, but a second mom and a great support during my studies. I am honored to form part of your child alumni Thank you for being my best cello professor. I love you and your family. Greetings from Mexico and hoping to see you soon. Good afternoon. I'm Philip Collister, Chairperson of the Department of Music at Towson University. I'm happy to welcome you to this special afternoon of music, congratulations, memories, and celebration of Professor of Cello, Cecilia Barczyk. In the life of every academic department, there are those who shape and guide its history, who make their indelible mark on its students, alumni, faculty, and the institution itself. Cecilia Barczyk is one of those people in the Department of Music at Towson University. For more than 35 years, she has given her passion for excellence in performance, her care in guiding future music educators, her dedication to the service of the department, college, and university, and perhaps most of all, she has led by example in all of these areas. We all know what a phenomenal performer Cecilia is, and you'll have a chance to experience that passion for lifelong performance excellence today. You may know her as the steady and nurturing hand that guided you through your studies at Towson, leading you to your profession today. You may know her as a loving wife or mother. How lucky those of you are who are related directly to Cecilia to be able to make music with her together. You may know her as a person who leads by example, as a philanthropist, bettering the lives of our students through giving back via scholarships and money to fund guest artists. You may know her from having served on committees or other service to the institution, or you may have had the honor to make music with her directly, a joy to do so if you've had the chance. Whatever your relationship to Cecilia Barczyk may be, 
I'm glad you're here to celebrate her. Oh, how I wish we could all be together in one room to celebrate this momentous occasion on her retirement from Towson University after 35 years. But this virtual platform will need to suffice for today, and I think you'll find it quite satisfying nonetheless. I would encourage you to consider a gift in Cecilia's honor to the Towson University Foundation, Cecilia B. Barcheck Endowment Fund. It's a great way to pay it forward and ensure her ongoing legacy in the help of our students that she has nurtured so passionately over her career at Towson. On a personal note, Cecilia, thank you for the many years of dedicated teaching, service, and creative activities in the Department of Music and the world. Your energy and commitment are going to be missed greatly. But know that you will always have a home here at Towson University. I thank you for the many ways you have enriched my life personally through musical collaboration, kind words, and support. You are a shining example of what is best and good about our department. I wish you all the best for a happy retirement. Again, thank you for joining us today. Enjoy. Good afternoon. I'm honored to have the opportunity to join you all today as we celebrate the prestigious career of Professor Cecilia Barczyk. For 37 years, Professor Barczyk has been educating and mentoring young cellists, as well as lifting up her department and college to new heights of excellence. I only wish I was part of TU when she provided great leadership for the International Cello Congress that brought Yo-Yo Ma to perform at Kaplan Concert Hall years ago. I have heard it was outstanding. In her performance career, which spans nearly five decades, Professor Barczyk gave concerts or master classes on four continents and featured as a soloist with prominent ensembles from around the globe. But while her talents, expertise, and efforts have had a global reach, we are so very fortunate that she called Towson University home and focused her energies here for so many years. At TU, she inspired countless musicians and educators. At TU, she set an example for so many students in the Department of Music. At TU, she gave back. Her philanthropy established a cello scholarship, and she funded it in her name, and it has supported so many numerous TU students in pursuing their music performance degrees. It is through all these things that we know Cecilia Barczyk's legacy will be one of inspiration for TU students and faculty for years to come. It is here at TU where I can say, thanks to Professor Cecilia Barczyk, there are truly great things ahead. Thank you, Cecilia, for everything you have given to TU and its community. My sincerest best wishes to you in retirement. But don't forget, you are beloved here and will always have a home at TU. instrument, my cello, has been my companion for almost my entire life. It has been responsible for most of the events in my life, the most important events for choosing my profession, for coming to the USA, for meeting my husband, for my concert career, and for my 38 years at Towson University, sharing my knowledge with my students. Truly, Music and my cello have been interwoven into my entire life. I stepped into the musical profession when I was 
12 years old. It just so happened that the city in which I was born, Bitom, had one of the best music schools in Poland. Cello was actually chosen for me by the distinguished auditioning jury, which decided that I have very fine fingers with big score tips, which are perfect for the cello. Then the next step came when I entered the Warsaw Academy of Music. I was in the class of very famous professor, Kazimierz Bukomirski. He was a true Renaissance man, not only an excellent cellist, but also a conductor, a composer, a writer. And we very often performed together on Philharmonic stages. He as a conductor and I as a soloist, very often performing his concertos. One of my favorite pieces written by him is the aria, which I'm going to show.
the education of a musician never ends, the more the better. In 1975, I received a scholarship from the Polish Minister of Culture for one year's study in Moscow Conservatory of Music. I was in the class of a prominent Russian cellist, Natalia Gutman, the pupil of Rostropovich. In the winter of 1976, I went back to Poland to play a concerto, Kowalewski's second concerto, with the Warsaw Philharmonic. It just happened that while I was in Poland, there was also the prominent professor of Yale University, Aldo Pariso. He toured Poland at this time, and he happened to hear me on radio. He immediately requested a meeting with me. We met in Warsaw. We communicated in French, because I didn't know English at this time. I paid for him, and he invited me to come to Yale University to study with him. This opened a whole new chapter in my life. Sonata by American composer Samuel Barber.
In 1983, I interviewed for a job at Towson University, and I was offered this position. So, lo and behold, it's 38 years later, I'm still here. When I first came, there wasn't really any cello studios, it was just one cellist. So obviously, I was expected to recruit students. That worked very well with my concert career. Every year, at least twice, I had concert tours. I always went to Europe, Poland, Germany, France, Scandinavia, Southern Europe, just name it. And I also went to the Far East, Japan, China, Korea, India, and to Middle East, Israel, Jordan, and so on. Uh, later on, I went to South America, including Cuba, and got some students from South America as well. In 1985-86, I went for a world tour, tour around the world together with my colleague, Ronaldo Reyes. It was really great fun to be with my colleague. He was such a reliable pianist. I could always count on his brilliance. So we went to the Far East, and as a result of it, students came. I had students from Europe and the Far East, and it really created something like the golden age of cello at Towson University. The tours were organized by my management, the Intern with Performing Arts Bureau, which also assisted me with the International Cello Festivals at Towson, together with my husband, who also established two cello scholarships at Towson University, which helped. And every year, a part of the festival was a benefit concert for cello scholarship, which could help those students. Additionally, I had to get out of my shell and plead with the upper administration to secure for the students tuition waivers and scholarships so they would be able to come to study at Towson University. So all this required a lot of activity on my hand, which was very good and worth it, because those students won local, state, national, and international competition. So that spread Towson's name throughout the world. Now, many of them are in key positions in their home countries. In my early years at Towson University, I organized the International Cello Festival with the help of my management and with support of my chairman, Dr. David Marshall. For each festival, I invited one to two cellists of international renown, such as Janos Starken, Aldo Pariso, and some rising new stars. These events stirred a lot of interest and support in Maryland we always received good coverage in the Baltimore Sun. In 2001, the festival was organized under the motto Music for Peace in the Middle East and took place just before the war in the Middle East. We had musicians from both sides of the Jordan River sitting side by side, drawing much press attention. We had a huge cello orchestra on the concert stage and performed some stunning Arabic compositions. This concert was recorded and published on CD under the same title, Music for Peace in the Middle East, and is still available on Amazon.com.
Coachella Ensemble was always an important part of the festival. In 1995, the ensemble was invited to perform at the Kennedy Center Millennium Stage and received a beautiful plaque of recognition. The cello festivals eventually led to the two World Cello Congresses, the second in 1997 and third in 2000, organized and sponsored by Towson University. I do not exaggerate by saying that this was the peak of Towson's international artistic exposure on such a grand scale. To this day, people who attended ask when the next Congress will take place. which I will always cherish are my artistic collaborations with my colleagues. I was a member of the Baltimore Trio throughout my years at Towson with the pianist Ronaldo Reyes, violinist Sultan Sabo, a later violinist Jeffrey Howard. I was always looking forward to our weekly rehearsals and performances together. Of course, I also very much enjoyed mixed ensembles, collaborations with other faculty members. In this spirit, I would like to play one composition with my current chairman and wonderful colleague, Dr. Philip Collister. We selected for this performance a section of the Magnificat by Johann Sebastian Bach, my favorite composer. The words of the Magnificat are very significant to me. In translation, it says, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is His name. This is exactly how I feel. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to all who contributed to my work and to my life. Firstly, to my dear husband, Carl Charles, whose great help throughout our life together permitted me to successfully combine my concert career, my teaching, and raising a family. Without his help, it would not be possible. I would also like to express my thanks to all my colleagues present and those who already retired. They were of great help to me, especially in some real difficult times of my life. Thank you, thank you so very much to all of you.
Congratulations, Cecilia. I hope you enjoy your retirement and thank you so much for everything that you've done for the Towson Music Department. Hi, Cecilia. I would like to congratulate you on your retirement from our Department of Music. It has always been my pleasure to work with you. So while I'm sadness to see you go, I am confident that you will find the success, uh, the happiness, the same in the retirement that you experienced during your time here. I wish you the best in your future music life. And please keep in touch and visit often if you find that you have the time. And I hope you have a fun and fruitful retirement. Thank you so much for your devotion. Dear Cecilia, thank you for being such a wonderful colleague over my last 21 years with the Department of Music. I can think back to some wonderful moments that we've had um, serving on committees, uh, serving in the Department of Music, but certainly my highlights are a couple of performances where you were so generous to give your time to me. The Vivaldi Concerto performance, uh, La Notte, uh, that's still on the internet, still being played. People are watching that, and I so appreciate that. And I remember so fondly when we got to play the uh, Mozart duo together, and that was just a, a remarkable moment. So congratulations on a wonderful achievement, a life well lived in our department, and we are so grateful for what you've done for us. Bye. Dear Cecilia, I wanted to wish you the best on your retirement. It's been a long time. I remember when David Marchand and I met you at Dulles Airport and all of the wonderful concerts and parties you've given. You've been a real addition, a great addition to the Towson Music Department. And I wish you the best in the coming years. Surely we will see each other after this pandemic is over. So, best wishes to you. Hi, Cecilia. Evie and I wanted to take this opportunity to tell you how much we've appreciated you at Towson. I can't believe I've been there 25 years and you've been gracious and kind to me all the time. I can't tell you what that means to me and I can't tell you how much I appreciate you playing for me whenever I've asked. I really enjoyed doing the Rachmaninoff, and I liked the Ravel very much, and I hope we can do it again together, maybe next year or the year after. I hope that you have a great retirement, and you get to do all the things you want and spend time on your farm and with your dog and with your family. Thanks for everything. Hi, Cecilia. Congratulations on your long time here at Towson and all the wonderful work you've done and the wonderful memories I have of working with you. I wish you only the best and happiness and health to you and your talented family. Please stay in touch. My best wishes to you always. Cecilia, I wanted to wish you the very best in retirement. I'm sure that it will still be filled with plenty of music and hopefully even more family. Congratulations. Congratulations on your retirement, dear Cecilia. It has been an honor working with someone as dedicated as you since I came to Towson two years ago. You are an inspiration to your colleagues and all of your students, an amazing artist and teacher. I wish you good health, happiness, and great success on your new chapter in life. Hi, Cecilia. Just want to say congratulations on your retirement. It's been such a great pleasure to work with you more than 20 years. I always enjoyed performing with you. You have some many, many fine students, including those international ones that were such a highlight for the department. And of course, always great seeing your kids perform on campus. So stay in touch and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Cecilia, it's such a pleasure to be part of your retirement celebration. Congratulations on an amazing career uh, here at Towson University. And uh, I, for one, very grateful and uh, very humbled by, by your work ethic 
and your musicianship and your artistry. And it's been such a pleasure to work with you. So I thank you for everything. I wish you a wonderful, fun, filled retirement, and I congratulate you. Hi, Cecilia. I'm happy to be here to offer my congratulations to you on your retirement from Towson University. It's been such an impressive career here. And I have to tell you that seeing how long you have happily served Towson University has been a great inspiration for me, too, as I make my career here. You know, one of the things I remember is how I think you were the very first person to observe my teaching when I started my new job here back in 2013. And your enthusiasm and support for what I was doing in the classroom really meant a lot for me. And I was really honored to have you in my classroom, have been honored to hear you play and to have you as my colleague for these past eight years. All best wishes for a wonderful retirement. Hi, Cecilia. I just want to wish you every congratulations on your retirement. It's been a, a wonderful time for me to have 13 years now of playing and performing with you. I feel like we've we've done the whole gamut of things together from teaching master classes to playing Brahms trios and, and Beethoven trios, Chanson trios, Ravel trios, Shostakovich, uh, giving classes in area and high schools. It's been a real privilege to be able to play and perform with you over these many years and to learn from your vast experience. I wish you every success in your retirement and look forward hopefully to more occasions to get to play and perform together. All best wishes. The music profession is very demanding. It really isn't a profession, it is a vocation. While other kids are playing video games, a young musician must be disciplined very early to carve out a chunk of time every day to practice. You must have patience, perseverance, and passion. And out of this, the greatness is passion. Even if it's just a spark, like in fire, you must also have a great teacher to foster the patience and perseverance needed for your success. Someone said that success is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. Hello, my name is Rob Childs. These days I am a history professor, but nearly 25 years ago, when I first met Professor Barczyk in the fall of 1996 at Towson University String Day, I was a high school freshman with a love for music, and we entered into the dark and cavernous hallways of the then not modernized Towson University Center for the Arts, and we wound through the labyrinthine hallways of that antiquated building, and we made our way into the office of this world-class artist, Cecilia Barczyk. And I was awestruck from the first to hear not only the brilliance of her performance on the instrument, but also to be touched immediately by the authenticity of her human warmth, her interest in every individual in that room and in their musicianship and in cultivating within each and every one of them uniquely whatever could best be brought out in them as musicians. Well, needless to say, this was only the first of many interactions I was so fortunate to have with this brilliant professor. Well, over the next several years, as a student of Professor Barczyk's, my life changed completely. Not just because I had this wonderful opportunity to study with this brilliant artist and wonderful teacher, but also because of what I said earlier, that humanity that she brought, not only to her music, which you see on the stage in every performance, but also to her teaching, to her engagement with her students, to her engagement with the world around us. Well, 
Professor Barczyk brought two different students different skill sets that were perfectly fit to their different needs. To some of my colleagues who to this day are brilliant internationally known performers, people that I'm still friends with and for whom I have fond memories, she brought what they needed to grow into the next generation of Cecilia Barczyk's. And for those of us who were not going to be world-class artists, that was okay too. Not because that makes you just as good, no, but because she brought out in us the best that we could be. Professor Barczyk instilled in each of her students the sort of discipline necessary to be the very best cellist they could possibly be in that moment, and also skills that were transferable to other adventures in life. Skills that would serve me as I went off to a PhD program in United States history. Skills that would serve me as a writer and as an editor and as a lecturer and as a professor and as a dad and as uh, someone who tries to do their best in every piece of their life. Professor Barczyk taught us to make the most of the gifts with which we were blessed. And she taught us also to treat people with dignity and to treat them with grace when called for, but also to help them strive to be the best that they could be as well. So Professor Barczyk, thank you for everything and congratulations on your retirement. Dear Cecilia, I just want to congratulate you for a legendary career here in Maryland, teaching generations of cellists, sharing music with thousands and thousands of people here in our States and of course beyond. I came here 18 years ago to teach at Peabody. I was very young, fresh, in this world in the US and you were one of the first one to welcome me with open hands and warm heart here to Maryland, here to our cello world in Maryland. And I will never forget that. We became very close friends, colleagues. I've enjoyed inviting you to teach my students through the years. This is gonna continue, I promise you. And I just wanted to say that we all admire you as a cellist, as a musician, as a human being, and we remember everything that you have done here, and we look forward for many years now into the future, having you come judge our competitions, teach our students, share your vast experience, and we would like to really thank you for everything you have done. Thank you so much. And now it's time for a little show. I will play the Hanukkah rap song by David Packer.
I'm pleased to introduce to you now our new Dean of the College of Fine Arts and Communication, Dr. Regina Carlo. Dr. Carlo has a few remarks and then she and I will make a couple of presentations for Cecilia. Dr. Carlo. Thank you. I'm honored to have a moment to say a few words of thanks and welcome in honor of Cecilia Barczyk. Professor Barczyk has been an inspiring educator and mentor to many for over 35 years and her legacy is far-reaching through her students' success as well as her amazingly talented children, but also for anyone who has ever watched her perform. Thank you, Professor Barczyk, for sharing your passion for music and for your many years of enduring service at Towson University. Cecilia has had a great impact in and around Towson, Baltimore, and the region. She has also had a lasting impact on the state of Maryland. In recognition of her commitment, both the mayor of Baltimore and the governor of Maryland issued certificates and citations of recognition. We are pleased now to present these to you, Cecilia. From the city of Baltimore, certificate of recognition on behalf of the citizens of Baltimore I am pleased to present this certificate to Cecilia Barczyk in recognition of 35 years of service to the Towson University and the greater Baltimore community. You are to be commended for your longtime commitment to excellence and improving the lives of our residents. On behalf of the citizens of Baltimore, 
I offer my sincere thanks for your dedication and wish you a long, happy, and well-deserved retirement. Congratulations. Dated May 8, 2021, Mayor Brandon M. Scott. Congratulations, Cecilia. And from the state of Maryland, greetings, be it known that on behalf of the citizens of this state, in recognition of your 35 years of dedicated and outstanding service you have made on behalf of Towson University, in appreciation for the expertise, professionalism, and commitment you have demonstrated through your distinguished career, and as the people of Maryland join together in expressing our great respect, admiration, and sincere best wishes on the occasion of your retirement, we are pleased to confer upon you this governor's citation, given under the hand of the great seal of the state of Maryland on this eighth day of May, 2021, signed Lawrence J. Hogan, Governor, Boyd K. Rutherford, Lieutenant Governor, and John C. Wobbensmith, Secretary of State. In the last 20 years, I performed many international concerts together with my three wonderful children, Elizabeth, Emmanuel, and Francis. So it's very appropriate that we close the program together. We are going to play a composition written especially for this occasion by Elizabeth. She told me that my name is encoded in music.
smell the roses in my garden. I'm going to enjoy taking care of sheep. And of course, I will play cello.